happy 4th of July. We're here at Recreation Park to celebrate Independence Day with people from all over Southern California. If you've been here before, you know to bring your family, friends, and appetite. Let's go take a look around. to enjoy your neighbors, your friends, family, the entire day. And it just makes for the community to come together and enjoy everyone and everything we do. My staff is wonderful. I would not be here in this position surviving without my staff. So I have to say kudos to them. They make this happen. We're very thankful to the Rex and Parks Department for putting this on. And we're also very thankful for the police and fire for making sure we as a community are safe because they're going to be around all day today and all night to make sure that everyone's safe, especially around the fireworks. I usually come with my cousins or hang out with my friends. And it's always fun to see everyone hang out together at this place and just come together as a community and see everyone raise money for events or for clubs or the team center. As a child, I used to come down here to the park, and then when my children were younger, we used to bring them down every every year. So it has a lot of fond memories for me, and I'm just real excited to uh, continue to celebrate the 4th of July in El Segundo. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the watermelon eating contest. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Talk to one of our staff members. Is it fireworks? <laughs> The day is full of competition, starting with the races. It was awesome. We've been practicing for a few months now. So we came prepared with our snacks and our beach balls. He was a little tentative at first, but at the end he really kicked it into gear and won first place. And I got nervous. I didn't like that feeling at all because I just thought right from the get-go, from all the practice that we've done, I thought he was going to nail it. He was slow. It was a slow start. I got worried. I got jittery. But he came through at the end. When we walked here, we practiced doing the three-legged race. In the sack, you guys yeah. Do that? Mm -hmm. You won fourth place with your sister, right? I won fourth place. I won second place with Scotty. And then what is and that one? I got fourth place with my dad at the finals. Yeah, buddy. Is that hard or have you practiced a lot? We, have, we haven't practiced, but we just did really good. Did we work together as a team? Yes. Work together as a team. Teamwork was also key at the water balloon toss. Yes! Throw it back. <laughs> Was that the shortest um, lasting uh, water balloon toss that you've ever participated in? Probably in history. Probably. I'm sorry. So I guess the uh, this is my third time trying this, and the third time is not actually the charm. Uh, maybe the fourth will be. Next year. The fourth on the fourth next year. <laughs> and we'll be here to try it again. We're just trying to have fun. Not, not Our aim wasn't really on winning. It was just enjoying ourselves. Yeah, same. You know, enjoying it. Being here 4th of July, you know, having fun, not really worrying about winning or losing, but you know, just doing what, doing my best, having fun. Food is a big part of the 4th of July, and there's hot dogs, pizza, and burgers available, but I think I'm going to go with these beautiful tacos. So this is our biggest recruitment day of the year. We're selling tacos and other fun games. Uh, there's a football toss over there, and essentially what we're fundraising for is the football, the sport of football has changed a lot and there's a lot of newer technologies to help our kids be safer. So through these fundraisers we get new equipment, new helmets and new things like that to help keep uh, our kids safe. We have right here is the Teen Center booth and it's mostly supporting like all of our events that we're having throughout the year. We're selling pizzas from Stuff Pizza, keeping it local and then we also have a dunk tank where kids can throw a ball at the target and then one of our staff members and some youth uh, volunteers sit in the dunk tank and it's a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> We're the El Segundo High School, class 2021, and this is a fundraiser to help money raise for the school is a coronation dance and the prom. We're selling all types of burgers, uh, hot dogs, french fries, uh, chips. We're doing pretty well. It's definitely getting a bit hectic at times because we've got so many orders because not many food booths here, but it's definitely going to help us out and the school out too. 
The El Segundo Kiwanis Club and the El Segundo Rotary Club ended the day's contests on a sweet note. Who's doing the eating contest later? Me. I don't know. The um, Kiwanis Pie Eating Contest? Oh yeah, I, I'm doing that. Nah. You're not? Nah. I'm pretty sure Mayor Boyles is going to challenge uh, me to another pie eating contest this year. It's a big tradition in El Segundo. Every year it's, um, it's just a fun thing to do for everybody. This year we expanded the, the line of pie, the type, so we get a lot more color. Apple and cherry and blueberry and banana cream and all kinds of them, different kinds, fun times. I just lay in my face in it and started eating. I think it's really awesome because I get five bucks at Rite Aid and that's definitely going towards ice cream. It is so much fun. Um, there's a lot of preparation, purchasing, actually finding watermelons that are oblong instead of round. So we have to go to a special vendor and then we get our team out here cutting them up and putting them on the Frisbees and we have four different age groups and we have prizes from all the vendors in town, food places, Target. So I placed first in the pie eating competition and the watermelon eating competition. Yeah. How do you do that? I just, I don't know, just, I just eat really fast. I have a big appetite, I like food, that's pretty much it. This is just celebrating independence, seeing good friends, uh, beating Scott Nickel in a pie eating contest. My colleague in city council is always really, I relish that every time. <laughs> just kidding. He actually beat me this time, we had a rematch, and Carol, the mayor pro tem, was up there, and she did great too, so we're going to have to go after it again next year. But this is just a Judges celebration of the community, what makes El Segundo so amazing. Happy Fourth of July, El Segundo! Obviously, it's really new to me. I've only been in the U.S. for a few years now, so it's it's cool to just see um, a holiday that celebrates the country as a whole, I think. I love this nation. It's fortunate to be able to serve in the military in this great country, and I just love everything okay, that it stands for. Hands, Our ahead. independence, pursuit of liberty, happiness. It's a great, great nation. Happy Fourth of July! <laughs> Well, things are winding down here and there will be some time to take it easy before the celebration continues in the evening. We'll be back here for some live music and it'll be a blast to see the sky light up with fireworks. I can't wait.